Understanding color dynamics uh, can be of great help to you in deciding how to use color. Why do we call them warm and cool colors? It's kind of a psychological sense, and I think it has to do with sort of our, uh, our own life experience in how we associate these colors with things that we see. So what good does it do us to know that with a painting? And it is a, it's a visual thing to do with, uh, with depth, and you'll see me capitalize on that in the painting. Warm colors visually project, cool colors visually recede. If you have two colors, uh, a blue and a red next to each other that are exactly the same size and a blank field, the red color is going to appear to look closer than the cool color. So we'll use that recognition in the painting to reinforce that. I have some samples here that are a result of my studies of the color theories presented by Joseph Albers. The point of all this is to show that colors look different depending upon their context. Your eye seeks balance is something that needs to be pointed out here. When, you're, when your vision is filled with a certain color, your eye wants the rest of the spectrum. So let's look at these really simple examples. All right, this is a very bright yellow surrounding that neutral gray. But the neutral gray doesn't look the same as it does when it's against white. The neutral gray inside of the yellow starts to take on characteristics of the yellow's complement. The opposite of yellow is violet. So this gray begins to have a look of violet because your eye is seeing so much yellow and it seeks the rest of the spectrum, which is everything that yellow is not, and that's violet. It's the opposite side of the color wheel. Within the green, the gray starts to take on the look of the opposite color, which is some kind of red. And in the last example, the gray is surrounded by blue. The opposite of blue, of course, is orange. So the whole point of this is that context changes the look of a color. So when you look at all four of them and can compare back and forth, you realize that not only, and there's another issue here, not only does the gray have a different coloration look to it, but the gray within the yellow looks like a darker gray than does the gray within the blue. It is by contrast that the brain discerns what the eyes are seeing. So if you give the brain what it wants, contrast, it's going to give your image what you want the viewers to see in it. So the idea is to play up contrast. Value contrast should be exaggerated. Color contrast can be exaggerated to the advantage of, to the support of the visual impact of your image in the end.